Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Naninga Koe. Thank you so much for joining me again on another episode. You're much appreciated. I hope you're doing well. So I personally am doing well. We are still hoping that 2021 is nothing like the last year. But let's just hope that this year is going to turn out better than it has. So um, today we are going to talk about... Sometimes you just blank out. You know, sometimes you can be so much in the zone until you blank out. Like you just blank out. You clear everything in your head. But that's not what we are here to talk about. I'm here to talk about how to find your inner beauty. There's a video that I did prior to this one. It was actually a makeup tutorial. But I was talking about, you know, Snapchat, in, uh, Snapchat Instagram, and other forms on social media. And how they are impacting us when it comes to our beauty standards and how we look. Beauty is something that has really affected people. It's caused some people to commit suicide. It's caused so many problems. Um, it's caused psychological torment. It's caused people to lose their entire childhood and teenagehood just because they feel that they are not beautiful. So if I can reach some people, well and good. So what I'm talking about here is how to find your inner beauty. Once you find your inner beauty, not even your inner peace, once you tap into your inner beauty, automatically your inner peace will come and automatically you will never have to um, think of yourself as ugly or think of yourself as the world wants to perceive you or think of yourself in any way. I personally am beyond, I'm beyond all that and I am so grateful to God and to my family that I have never had problems with my self-esteem and how I look. It's never really impacted me. Even when people would tell me um, negative things or ne anything negative, I just think like, oh, these people, they should sort their own issues first. So let's just get into the video and uh, I hope you're going to enjoy Why did I even have to say that? Let's get into the video. We were already deep, deep into the video because we are really talking about inner beauty and outer beauty at the same time. How we now want to dismiss outer beauty. Everybody is going to the same plastic surgeon and I've said this over and over again. You find in the Americas, in the Europe, people are going to the same plastic surgeons asking each other, hey, who's your plastic surgeon? They don't even care about the consequences. I'm not saying that you should not go to a plastic surgeon by all means go however it's better when you feel beautiful as you already are don't go to the plastic surgeon because you feel um that that plastic surgeon will make you feel beautiful no go to the plastic surgeon just because you want to and just because you can but not so that the plastic surgeon can make you feel beautiful because it won't work if you go to the plastic surgeon feeling that you're ugly chances are high you'll still come out of there feeling ugly or even if you're altered and you feel beautiful it will be temporary because you'll always be comparing yourself to others so here we are tapping in our inner beauty and the first thing i can tell you in order for you to tap into your inner beauty is to surround yourself with people who make you happy i know a lot of people yes it is easier said than done but i personally have been able to do it Nowadays, I have to vet my friends and not in a negative way, like I'm the best. So you only get to hang out with me if you're cool enough or not in that aspect. Anybody who makes me feel as if I'm worthless or anybody who makes me cry, especially if you make normally make me cry, you're out of my life. If you normally make me feel worthless, you're out of my life. If you normally make me feel anything that is just I'm not trying to say there's something called constructive criticism and you have to be really wise about that. If somebody tells me, for example, hey, I think you're doing this wrong, you'd be better off doing it this way. And wise people will always criticize you in a, in a suitable manner. In fact, they'll avoid to tell you whatever is wrong, by the way. If you aren't a real friend, they'll avoid to tell you whatever is wrong, but will eventually tell you in a good manner. If somebody is really quick to criticize or really quick to point out the negative, yes, that negative might be true. Maybe, yes, I am applying my foundation in a wrong way.
but if this person is quick to always point it out that is not constructive criticism that's a, a person who just criticizes all the time so i'd avoid that person if this person never says the good that you do but is always ready to point out the bad that you've done i'd think twice about that friend so surround yourself with people who make you happy and most of the time this can come in the form of family members or friends i personally normally choose family members because that's just i was lucky enough to get good family members i know some people out there might not have good family members but you can have good friends uh, so surround yourself with those friends make sure that you otherwise you'll never go anywhere the wrong crowd can stunt your growth both emotional growth spiritual growth you know mental growth it can stunt your growth so make sure that you're vetting and picking out the people you want to stay with i'm not saying avoid people who are maybe drunkards or people who do drugs or do what but i'm just saying that pick out the people who are closest closest to you like the ones you spend most of your time with i know sometimes we we when we are working we don't have a choice we have to work with the people we've been given right if the you can always avoid even if you're working with this person you can always there's a way you can avoid the person for example if you feel if you see the person wants to engage in conversation and you know that this conversation will end up with you know heartbreak from you there's always ways that you can avoid as a human being there's always ways you can pretend <laughs> it's not i'm not advocating for pretense or ignoring your colleagues at work or at school or wherever or at church or at the mosque i'm not saying that you ignore people <laughs> i'm just saying that there's a way that you can let them down gently before they take it too far before they start that insult before they start mocking you before they start criticizing you you know there are certain people by they by nature you'll just find somebody starts nicely oh hi mrs x or oh, hi miss x hi oh how is your new year how is your what and the next thing you know they're like by the way this dress i think you'd look better with it in a belt or something of the sort i have come across so many people like those so let them down loosely pretend that you're busy for a meeting <laughs> pretend i'm not giving you tips on how to avoid people i'm just saying that what's good for you is supposed to you know if you feel good if you surround yourself with so how is surrounding yourself with people who make you happy going to change your inner beauty or going to unleash your inner beauty when you are happy you tend to smile right and smiling tends to release people's inner beauty yeah smiling makes people happy it releases their inner beauty and it makes them feel loved you know so inner beauty just has to do it's not only about smiling but you know you'll feel beautiful and when you 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 feel um comfortable all round and you're an all-rounded being you know you don't feel like you're inadequate in one area of your life of course inadequacies are there we we are human beings we tend to feel inadequate but if you feel that you're fulfilled in all areas of your life you know all round emotionally you have somebody you can talk to you'll automatically be content and when you're content you're happy you laugh you smile you joke and automatically when you do these things your inner beauty shows and it comes also to your exterior it also affects your outer beauty so make sure that you're surrounding yourself with people who make you happy people who encourage you people who listen to you people who um talk and talk with you people who will positively criticize you to be a better person and in a good way in a good manner and even people who you know can make you uh, feel that you are worthy of this life you know there are people who are, can actually discourage people until they feel like they are not worthy of this life so don't be that person don't be that person who runs to the comment section to write a negative comment as far as i'm concerned for example me i'm not saying that you feel me or bombard me with positive comments but hey they are welcome but i personally whenever i watch a video there's a reason i've gone specifically to that video unless it has really bad content of which probably youtube will have already flagged it down i'll always leave a positive comment to the person so that i can encourage them to make the next video you know because because i went to their channel specifically or i clicked on that video specifically 
to watch their content. I was not forced to click on that video. And that, that there's a whole, you know, the world has become a bit um, negative, although I'm seeing a reduction in things like trolls, thank God for YouTube and its superior algorithm. Trolls were really a menace around 2014. You just upload a video and you get all this hate. And I think it was even the main factor why I never uploaded a video those days because you there was so much hatred, you know. So just make sure you surround yourself with positive people and always be ready for people. I don't mean to sound like a preacher, but this next point might sound a bit like a preacher. Yeah, there's some verses in the Bible I'm not really sure because I'm not really good at. I've not reached that point. But they normally say that uh, human nature in itself is evil. <laughs> yes, that sounds very weird. But I'm going to get it. <laughs> but from what I can tell, it's that we should be ready for anything, which is my next point. Always be prepared for anything. I'm not saying that you concentrate on the negative in your life, no. Or I'm not saying that you become a... What are they called? These people who are always um only see the negative part seriously that name always escapes my brain but there are people who always see only the negative part aspect so always be prepared for such people know that human nature in itself you know you know how the phrase ends without god is evil yes and i know there are people who are going to come at me who might come at me in the comment section that there is no god there is no what i personally respect everybody and i will never be because however i know that's also a very sensitive area religion is very sensitive but what i'm trying to pass this message is that in order for you to really tap into your inner beauty really tap into it is to be ready for anything and to understand that human nature in itself is not really good in itself is not that good so we only try to be good we only try to be good so by the time you have that in your head like uh, human nature in itself might not be perfect let me put it that way human nature in itself is not perfect that is better right we are not perfect nobody is perfect so you will be prepared for anybody and everybody. Those who will throw insults at you. Even when I was starting this YouTube channel, I knew that I will get people who will insult me and insult me so badly. And I thank God that up to now, I've not really gotten somebody who has insulted me so badly. Maybe one or two. And that's not a bad number. But like, I was ready. Mentally, I was ready. I was ready and I knew that not human beings are not perfect. And they can also... um be jealous they can also be angry they can also be blunt you know sometimes not all insults are out of jealousy some may be true uh, based on what the world or society has taught us about beauty standards about how we are supposed to carry ourselves so some may just be blunt maybe you're not carrying yourself like kim kardashian or you don't have a butt like kim kardashian but the whole world wants you to have a butt like kim kardashian in order to be considered beautiful so if you're told you are ugly that person is technically not wrong in the aspect of what the world expects of you because you may not have that bad like kim kardashian so that is what i mean be ready in your head that human nature in itself is not perfect and some people are blunt they'll just tell it as it is and some people are bad just plain bad like they want to hurt your feelings and we'll just like poke you and do all manner of things. In fact, I'm going to mention a channel that really has motivated me up till now. And that is Shalom Black. That is a burn survivor victim. And she does her makeup so perfectly. I'm telling you to the point that mine is just rubbish. Like, like my makeup is rubbish. Like her makeup is flawless and just... And she's a burn survivor. I mean, like, she got burnt. Like, her skin is scarred. And she's developed thick skin. And I don't mean, like, okay, that was a wrong pun, I guess. But, like, she's, she's tough. She's tough and she's made it. And her toughness has made her make it. So I'm sure so many people maybe might have been coming for her. 
and all that but she toughened it out and you can check out her channel i'll link it down below so make sure that in your head you just know that human beings are not perfect by themselves they're not perfect and they only strive for perfection which unfortunately we might never ever reach perfection or what we consider perfection even in our character so you expect anything just in your head just expect anything that won't shock you once you learn how to just expect anything you will not be shocked and i know some people might say that hey but if you expect anything you might attract anything no no you're just ready it's just you're preparing yourself for anything the good and the bad yeah so which leads me to my last okay there as we know that um there's happiness hormones right so these happiness hormones can only be released if you're doing something that you love so make sure that you have hobbies an idle mind i like quoting this western are they called western european the ones that were british people passed down to us by virtue of colonization <laughs> okay that's just a by the way though uh these sayings these sayings of theirs um what was that saying in fact i was saying damn now i've mentioned the british colonialists and everything has flown out of my okay there were some sayings uh, it's a british saying i'm assuming because I mean, every culture has sayings, but that's a story for another day. So there's a saying that goes, um, okay, an idle mind, <laughs> an idle mind is the devil's workshop. Yes, that is a saying that we were taught during our English lessons in primary school. An idle mind is the devil's workshop because human beings are not supposed to be idle. I believe most trolls on the internet are idle. And the reason that saying says an idle mind is the devil's workshop is that when you're idle, you tend to think of bad things. Simple, pure, plain and simple. So if you're idle, you're going to think of bad things. You're going to think of how you're a loser, how you don't look like Kylie, how you don't look like Nicki Minaj, how you don't look like Megan Thee Stallion and all those people. But guess what? If you're busy doing what you love, I don't think you have time to think about how you don't look like so and so. How you don't look like so and so. How I don't look like <laughs> dash, dash, dash. Yeah. So just make sure that you're doing something you love because once you do something you love, you release happiness hormones, you release endorphins. Yes. You release endorphins and you become a happy person. It radiates in your face. It shows in your face, it shows in the way you talk, it shows in the way you walk, it shows in the way you smile, and you become a role model to others. And everyone is like, hey, I want to be like so and so. So make sure that you are staying happy, make sure that you're staying cool, make sure that you are happy with who you are, because you, as I always say, are not a mistake. Nobody on this earth, let nobody lie to you, even if your own parents told you you are a mistake, even if you're own blood told you you are a mistake you are never a mistake you were supposed to be on this earth and don't even at a say for a specific purpose yes it's for a specific purpose but that purpose could just be to put a smile on somebody else's face yeah it can be as simple as that you were just born to put a smile on somebody else's face you don't have to be bezos or you don't have to to create the covid vaccine or to come up with the best platform social media platform for you to have found your purpose you are put on this earth and that is purpose enough so enjoy your life and as the british tell us or the englishman said you only live once i don't know was yolo a saying I don't know. I don't know. Comment in the section below if YOLO was actually an English saying that we were taught in school. I might be confused on that one. So I'll see you in my next video. Please be happy with yourself, um, especially this 2021. Know that you are loved by somebody like your parent or your friend, or your cousin or your creator. And I will see you in my next video.